Okay, we're going to try another lesson in the codecademy.com training for JavaScript. Introduction to objects. All right, so we've got to evaluate what this long and ugly expression is, whether it's true or false. Um, I guess we need to run it to see. It evaluates to true. So it's saying that we get rid of this code and make var answer equals true. Okay, next exercise. All right, see if um, it's position six, which we put in as five since so an array always starts at zero. That's right. All right, so we've got to print out the numbers from one to 20. So for a for loop, I equals one i equals one um we gotta put in um i less than equal to twenty i plus plus to increment it each time In the code we're going to run for each iteration. For numbers divisible by three, print out fizz. So if i modulus three equals zero, console log fizz for numbers are divisible by five print out buzz so it's going to be pretty much similar code to that it's going to be an else if Got to put in five there and buzz. For numbers divisible by both three and five, print out fizz buzz. Obviously, we'll have to test for that first, I think. So we'll make that an else if. We'll do another if up here. So divisible by three and Divisible by five to say fizz buzz. All right, and if um, otherwise, just print out the number.
So that works like syntax error. This probably needs semicolons. This is all part of learning, I guess. You make all these mistakes. Now what's it complaining about? Two ifs. See how that works. No. Suppose this needs a bracket around the whole lot. Looks like I'm missing a bracket somewhere. That one matches that. That one matches that one. That one matches that one. That one matches that one. Okay. Needs another one, I think. Maybe not. Oh, two ifs again. Silly. Semicolon. 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 Run. There we go. All working. Finally. Next exercise. Okay, we've got to use a switch, a switch conditional statement here. Um, I'm going to attempt it. Not exactly sure how it's going to work, but we will see. Switch and the argument is going to be movie. Then we'll have the cases. Matrix. And colon and then return. Good trip out. I think that's the syntax we need. Then we'll need a break. Doesn't want us to use return there. I guess um, it's got to be inside the function. to use return. So I'll have to cut it from there, paste it into there. Look, I forgot one. Princess Bride. Anyway. So stuff like that, I think. One semicolons. It's probably, that break's probably not needed. Okay. This is how you learn, I guess. 
So we'll copy that. Now we can just paste that in. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. When I've got three. Okay. Princess Bride. I'll cut all this out because it's a bit of a waste of time just watching it all. This isn't really programming, it's just cutting and pasting. Alright, looks like I've got it all in there now. Now we need a f default one that says, um, I don't know. How am I going to put that in? I really don't know. Um, don't know if we make it in, into a case or... Alright, I should be using default here. Default Alright, maybe that's good Yep, that's good We're up to number 5 here in section 1 So this is just basically asking us to into the console, I'm ready for objects, which is quite simple. There we go. We can start the next section.